I just really wish there was like a fancy special anniversary edition of the Percy Jackson books because why not? Why isn't there? Like I would pay an exorbitant amount of money to own something like that. I'd eat them up. So today, that's what we're going to be doing. Hey guys, I'm Angus and today we're going to be redesigning the Percy Jackson and the Olympians book one, The Lightning Thief. I haven't done a cover redesign video in so long and I feel like that's half the reason people are subscribed to me. So I figured I better get back into it. I've wanted to start a series like this on my channel for a long time where I like redesign the book covers of like Booktube's favorite YA and middle grade books. And today I thought we could kick that off with redesigning Percy Jackson book one, The Lightning Thief. I wanted to do some sort of anniversary like cloth bound edition because I feel like these books deserve that. Like I would love to have some fancy cloth bound cool design book on my bookshelf because why not? So I'm going to stop talking now and we're going to get into the designing. So this design took me absolutely ages. Um, I had a few ideas I was playing with, but ended up settling on one that ended up failing. So this is a bit of my first attempt. Um, I found the font I wanted straight away. Um, that's one thing that stayed the same throughout the whole process. So I just started searching for a really Percy Jackson-esque imagery, you know, like the trident, the Medusa head. Um, I tried a lot of things, but I kept coming back to the Empire State Building and I thought that was a really integral part. Um, obviously the lightning bolt had to be in there somewhere. So here I am just trying to map out a shape for that. I always knew I wanted to revamp like a semblance of what the original cover was with the Empire State Building and the lightning bolt, but I thought I could do a cool twist on that and make the Empire State Building out of like Greek architectural pieces and patterns like columns and such. I spent so long making this and ended up scrapping it completely. You know, you get to some points in design where you realize, okay, this isn't gonna work and you just have to throw out all this hard work. You just have to scrap it completely. So after I hit absolute rock bottom with this design, I actually stepped away for a day or two and came back with this rough sketch that I drew on my Wacom. Um, and I decided to use this as like my base. I was gonna base everything around this and it looks terrible in sketch because I've tried to map out all the highlight points um, to make it easier. But um, once it comes together, things really start to pop. So from here, basically I had to draw out all the shapes of the ocean, the buildings, the clouds. Um, I added draft coloring to these shapes just to make sure things are looking good. And yeah, this took maybe a few hours, like three to four hours. Um, it's a lot of going back over the same shape and smoothing this part out and sharpening this part. Um, it's very tedious, but I find it kind of relaxing. I can just like listen to music and get through all the shapes. It does take ages though, but it's, it's all worth it once you get to shading. That's the most fun part, I think. And that's definitely when things start to come together. So I worked on this ocean for a while um, and ended up coming back to it right at the end and changing it completely. So it was pointless, but everything's a step in the right direction. Same with the skyline, actually. Like I traced over this a million times, I swear. So this goes on for a while. So I don't really know what I want to talk about. Um, <laughs> I It's been a long time since I've done a cover design video, which is crazy for me. That was such an integral part of my channel last year. So I want to make them more prominent. Like I want to do like one or two every month. So yeah, stick around for that. It's going to happen. Um, I'm shading the clouds now. These are actually really fun. I really liked watching them come together with the, the blue and the orange, <laughs> the colors. Um, it just, it just looks cool. And the further you go into it, like the more you start to see it come together and it's really rewarding to just be like, yes, yes, it's coming together. It's getting closer and closer. I had to, it was very tedious to get these shapes right. Um, that one looks like an alligator, which was cool. Um, what else? There's actually quite a lot of clouds. When I drew this up, I didn't realize I was putting myself up for so much work, but here we are, I guess. You've got the different layers, like some of these are just background clouds to fill in and some are prominent foreground clouds and, you know, some have shading, some have none at all. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of work. Um, yeah. What else shall we talk about? Um, that skyline, man, it was really annoying. Like just trying to figure out how to make it look good <laughs> and not tacky. But I think we got there in the end. And the moon, I really like the moon. I wish I could have done a little bit more with the moon, to be honest. 
Okay, finally, shading. Um, I love this part. I pretty much just use clipping masks on each shape layer to apply a green brush to create shadows and highlights. Um, it adds so much dimension to the work, it's incredible. So I was using orange on the background clouds and then some light blue and other blues on the foreground clouds. It's just like a real mix of the color palette. Um, you can really do anything here and it still looks really cool. Um, at one point I did have the idea to put a little Percy standing at the, at, in the water in the front of the Empire State Building, but I tried it out and it <laughs> just wasn't working. So I ended up scrapping that. Yeah, it's just, this is this is another like long process, but it's a lot of fun just watching it come together, all the little specks everywhere and trying to get that, that moody look, especially in the background. Like it, it, it's looking still quite flat here, but once you add um, the grain and on the ocean, like it just adds, it makes it real moody and I really like it. It's really good. You can just like listen to an audiobook or music and really get in the zone while you're doing this. It's just, I just really enjoy it. It's really, really fun. Um, I ended up going over and fixing the lightning bolt a lot. Um, just trying to make it look a bit more magical, I guess, and less blocky. Um, and then the shadow and lighting on the on the Empire State Building, like just to get it look like it's being lit up by the lightning bolt. That was quite hard because I didn't want to add any glow because it would ruin the effect, the grainy effect. So yeah, I ended up softening and making it a bit weirder, the lightning bolt. I think it really works in the end. Yeah, and just now adding a little bit more um, shadow and lighting to the buildings using clipping masks and just trying to illuminate that and by state building a little bit more um, I did want to do something a bit more here but I wasn't really sure how to do it without ruining it so we left it at that and then um, and actually adding the um, adding the windows on the Empire State Building as I do right at the end was quite a last minute idea um, and funnily enough we actually ended up using the columns from the original design as the basis for the windows. Um, so that was really useful. I'm really glad we did that. But yeah, the idea is that like the lightning bolt is like lighting up the Empire State Building, like all that energy. Um, and it also add, adds a bit of salience, I guess, to the center of the image and draws your eye. So I think it looks, I think it looks really cool. Um, yeah. Okay, and that is the finished version of my redesign of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I would definitely love to have this on my shelf and matching editions of the rest of the series on my shelf. Let me know what books you guys want me to redesign next. I wanna do a whole series of these where I redesign all of our favorite books. So let me know in the comments and um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.